The waters of our world are home to some truly fascinating creatures, and while many of them simply look bizarre, there are some that look like they're pulled from your worst nightmare. Hi, I'm Larry, and today on What Lurks Below, we present you with 15 of the scariest fish out there. We kick off our list with number 15, the Great Barracuda, a fish that can grow to be 6 feet in length and weigh over 100 pounds. It lives in the warm, temperate waters in subtropical parts of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. The Great Barracuda is basically a living torpedo armed with strong jaws and sharp teeth that can grow up to be 3 inches long. It's a voracious ambush predator that is known to be attracted to shiny objects in the water when it attacks. The fish relies on short bursts of speed that can reach 27 miles per hour. Some barracuda species have a reputation of being dangerous to humans. Swimmers that venture into waters known for the presence of barracuda are advised not to wear any jewelry or other shiny objects. It is also better to avoid areas with low visibility. Even though a barracuda bite won't kill you, it does have the potential of causing lacerations and tissue loss. Next, at number 14 is the Pacu, a freshwater fish from South America that is related to the piranha, which also made it on this list. The Pacu are much larger than the piranha, and unlike them, they mainly feed on plant material. Perhaps one of the creepiest features owned by the Pacu is their teeth, which bear an uncanny resemblance to human teeth. It's not hard to imagine just how frightening a fish with human teeth might be. At number 13, we have a fish that has been around since the early Cretaceous period, more than 100 million years ago. The alligator gar is one of the largest freshwater fishes in North America and has been described as a living fossil as it still retains some features from its earliest ancestors. It's a massive fish that according to several scientific reports can grow up to 10 feet in length and tip the scale at over 300 pounds. However, the sheer size is not the scariest thing about this fish. Its broad snout and long, sharp teeth bear a resemblance to those of the American alligator. Unlike other gar species, the upper jaw of the alligator gar also has two rows of sharp teeth used to impale and hold its prey. Its body is covered in ganoid scales, which are bone-like scales that are diamond-shaped and often have serrated edges. This rare type of scale is nearly impenetrable and offers great protection against predators. Here's one to keep you up for nights to come. Coming in at number 12, the Pacific Viper Fish is the very definition of a scary fish. It has a large mouth complete with fang-like oversized teeth, photophores on its dorsal fin, and commonly reaches lengths of up to a foot. The photophores are glandular organs that produce light. While lurking in the abysmal depths of the deep sea, the Pacific Viper Fish uses this special feature to attract prey. Next, at number 11, we have the aptly named fangtooth fish. When comparing the size of its teeth to the rest of its body, this deep sea dweller has some of the largest dentures in the undersea kingdom. Their teeth are actually so large that they can never fully close their mouths. Fortunately, you don't have to worry about encountering one of these nightmarish creatures on your swim, as they are among the deepest living fish. Some specimens have been found at depths of 16,000 feet. The Deep Sea Dragonfish comes in at number 10 on our list of scary fish. As its name suggests, this creature lives at great depths. Some dragonfish have been found as deep as 16,000 feet below sea level. They live at levels of the deep sea where light never reaches, and the pressure is far greater than what a human being can withstand. Deep sea dragonfish have curved teeth and two sets of jaws, one of which is located in the branchial basket. They have several vertebrae missing in their spine, which gives them greater head flexibility and allows them to swallow larger prey. What sets the dragonfish apart from other deep sea dwellers? It can also produce red light from a suborbital photophore. Known for their sharp teeth and powerful jaws, piranhas, number 9 on our list, have a long-standing reputation as vicious creatures throughout history. 
According to various stories, a school of red-bellied piranhas can consume a human body in a matter of seconds. When considering the body mass ratio, the black piranha produces one of the strongest bites measured in all vertebrates. All piranha species have a single row of razor-sharp teeth in each jaw. The tightly packed teeth interlock and are used for shearing and rapid puncture. Even though they're not as dangerous as they've been portrayed in the media, there have been several piranha attacks on humans. The hands and feet are usually the main targets. Fatalities have occurred, but they're very rare. A six-year-old girl died in February 2015 after being attacked by piranhas when her grandmother's boat capsized during a holiday in Brazil. Next on our list, we have the Chimera also known as the ghost shark. If you thought the deep sea wasn't frightening enough, now you know that ghost sharks are swimming about and belong to a separate order called chimeriforms. They can grow up to five feet in length from head to tail, and they have bulky heads with soft, elongated bodies. Most chimera species defend themselves with the help of a venomous spine in the front of their dorsal fin. These fish were once popular throughout the world's oceans, but nowadays are rarely seen by humans. Moving on, we arrive at number 7, where we find the lancet fish. Not much is known about the biology of these creatures, but their sharp teeth and large mouths make the argument for a predatory lifestyle. Aside from their usual prey of plankton and squid, lancet fish have also been called cannibal fish, as they also eat their own kind. It has a long and very high dorsal fin with 41 to 44 rays that extends most of its back. In addition to smaller teeth, their mouths also have two or three fangs in each jaw. Deep sea creatures look strange. Some of them might look like vicious predators, while others may seem harmless. And then there's the anglerfish, number six on our list. These creatures have gigantic heads with enormous crescent-shaped mouths that reveal sharp, translucent teeth. Thin and flexible bones enable the anglerfish to stretch its stomach and its jaw to an enormous size and swallow prey almost twice as large as its own body. There are currently over 200 anglerfish species in the world, and most of them live in the depths of the Atlantic and Antarctic Oceans. Females have a distinctive piece of dorsal spine that protrudes above their mouths like a fishing pole at the tip. It has a lure of luminous flesh used to bait in prey. As we approach the final spots in our list, we stop to take a look at the monkfish of the Lophius order, well known off the coasts of Europe. Like many other fish on this list, the head is perhaps the scariest thing about the monkfish. Its mouth extends around the circumference of its head, and both jaws boast rows of long, pointed teeth. Along its body and around the head of the monkfish has fringed appendages that look like seaweed and help with its camouflage. It can also change color to match its surroundings. These monstrous creatures can grow up to be almost five feet long. Their ventral and pectoral fins are so articulated that they basically allow them to walk on the seabed. The number four spot is taken by the Black Swallower. This fish lives at an average depth of 9,000 feet below sea level. At such depths, food sources are pretty scarce, so inhabitants need to make it count when they find a potential meal. That's not a problem for the black swallower, as it can devour fish almost twice its own length and ten times its body mass. It uses its hooked front teeth to lock onto prey, which then makes its way into a specialized gut that can stretch until it hangs under the rest of the body. The stomach tissue is so stretched that it becomes transparent. As if the long, curved teeth weren't bad enough, here's a fish that displays its victims as they are about to be digested. At number three on our list, we have the frilled shark. Another fish that has been named a living fossil because of its primitive features. For a long time, this creature has been compared to the mythical sea serpent. This is mainly because of its eel-like body, broad, flattened head, and short, rounded snout. 
The fringed appearance of its six pairs of gill slits is where the creature's common name comes from. The frilled shark has rarely been encountered alive. It has long jaws that are extremely flexible and allow it to swallow its prey whole. It is believed that this alien-looking creature hunts by bending its body and then lunging forward like a snake. The frilled shark has 25 rows of trident-shaped teeth that curve towards its mouth, acting like a trap for its prey. There have been situations where even scientists examining dead specimens have injured themselves on the frilled shark's formidable teeth. The number two spot goes out to the cookie cutter shark, a fish that may be found in all of the world's oceans in tropical and temperate water regions, particularly near islands. Don't let its name fool you, as the cookie cutter shark has earned its due to be one of the most unique attacking creatures on this list. Using its bandsaw-like set of lower teeth, a specialized pharynx, and lips adapted for suction, this fish gouges out round plugs of flesh out of larger animals. The distinctive cookie-cutter marks that it leaves behind have been found on many fishes and marine animals, but also on undersea cables, submarines, and, creepily enough, even human bodies. Even though it sounds scary, the cookie-cutter shark rarely grows larger than 22 inches in length. It also has a cylindrical body, large eyes, a short, blunt snout, and special organs capable of producing light known as photophores. Finally, at number one, we have the stargazers, a family of fish that were named after the placement of their eyes, which are on top of their heads. Stargazers have large heads and large mouths that face upwards. They are masters of camouflage and will often bury themselves in the sand and leap upwards on unsuspecting prey. These ambush predators have often been referred to as the meanest thing in creation. Aside from owning two large venomous spikes above their pectoral fins, they are among the few bony fishes to possess an electric organ. This means that during an attack, they can inject venom as well as give electric shocks. The strange patterns it creates attracts prey and gives the fish its name, as the lights look like the buttons on a naval uniform. The midshipmen fish communicate with sounds, some having huge vocal organs. When they want to attract a mate, they hum and grunt and make really weird noises.